Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. And yeah, I know it's it's nighttime. It always seems to be nighttime when I start because it's nighttime when I turn it off the previous episode, put them to bed and shut it down. So it gives me a chance to kind of look around and get caught up on what this episode's going to be about or what hopefully our goals are. But Robert made a comment last time that when you click on the landing pad for the hot air balloon it gives you information like what is on its way back like carter's 70 scrap metal last time etc or well rita we don't quite know what she's bringing back yet this time last time she brought back three cpu cores but she's still got three hours remaining before she gets to it was just the regular explorer, wasn't it? Yeah, so we don't know where she's going. Okay, so that is that. Hopefully she's bringing back the much needed and highly anticipated energy crystals. Except that Dimitri wrote in and said, you know, there's a little star right there next to your farming tab that you haven't clicked on for a while. And to be honest, I didn't even see it. <laughs> so I know that she just found small evergreens on as, as her perk for those who haven't been with us the entire time she has natural or her trait natural curiosity has chance to field observe unknown species during expeditions so she caught the small evergreens last time and i was hoping one of these times she would catch the energy crystals this is something that's new with the last update, the latest update. They have grouped everything. So all of your, your food crops are together now. And your non-edibles. So we've got skin bark, cloth blossom, smoke leaf, silicone leaf, and energy crystals. I bet you they're like the uh, uh, heptagonias. These guys, I bet you they grow in gravel or something. If that's the case, we might convert one of these over. Um, farming, and then before I miss it completely, trees. That is the small evergreen that's new over there. But the non-edibles, energy crystals, nope, they do not like gravel. Okay, threw that one back in my face. Um, decided that we didn't need you. Oh, too cold for sewing. Oh. Wow. No more... What are they called? Power... Cells? Until... Spring. Bummer. It's still middle of fall. Maybe we'll get a warm day. It's kind of an unusual... Hmm... Okay, well, you can I oh I can change crop. Okay, well let's see what this crop actually needs. So farming, you need a two by two space. So does that line up? It does. That way. Oops. And that looks like a square, so I should be able to swap it out evenly. Energy crystals. Okay. And fertilize. Let's see here. Let's go back here and see some stats. Okay, so energy crystals, 100% growth over here. There's only part of it that needs to be fertilized, but we'll go ahead and say do it. And let's see what happens there. Okay, well that solves that one. Turn this thing on. I should have turned that on earlier. Um, everyone's pretty much in bed except Simon... Probably had Simon hauling something in from long distance before, and that's why he's the last one in. I don't remember which trip he had made. I feel like it was from out here. I don't know. Anyway, it'd be nice to get the fence done this time. We've got enough wood to do it. There's no alert over here that says we're short on something. Expedition Discovery Bone Crush. Oh, we've seen a bone picker. We've not seen a bone crusher. We've not not observed it. So the bigger one is called a bone crusher. I see. And this game has a desert map. I'm guessing 
correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't played the desert map, but this seems like an animal that would naturally be found over there. So I'm thinking it just flies into to our biome to eat carcasses and then flies back to the desert. I named the flying reptile Bone Crusher after seeing the way it broke and ate the bones of a carcass. It's actually not that scary. It just looks mean and strong, but it's mostly harmless. And it acts like a bird of prey feeding on carcasses and it flies away when approached. But they're definitely a threat to any hunting effort. Bone Crushers are fast eaters and will swarm a dead animal in minutes. And remember the Bone Picker, the smaller version of of this with the red feathers. It's said that they will pick up stones and throw at animals to finish them off. <laughs> that was kind of interesting. Um, okay, so she is almost her location. She found another species. And, oh, I know what I was going to... I knew I had something else to say. So, the game has added the sow and sell update that allows you to set up a a trading post on a world and use its natural resources to create products to trade to bring in enough money to eventually buy the world which seems a little far-fetched to me but okay I mean our multi-billion billionaires today couldn't afford to buy a planet so I don't know how we're going to there but okay well they've they're going to be releasing this game. Am I playing? No. Releasing this game out of early access into you know, full release 1.0. I think it's April 25th. And I just saw a trailer for a military scenario. To where bug attacks just keep coming in constantly. And you've got more military type um, um, research that you can do. Including what looks like an AT-AT from Star Wars that you get you know, in this machine with two big legs and can walk around in it shooting things, as well as a hovering vehicle that has lasers that shoots. So, <laughs> there's a lot more coming to this game. And I have a feeling that's not the end of the, of the scenario. So there'll be a lot of different ways to play on this, this map, on this world coming up. I don't know how many more series I'm going to do of this game. There are too many other games I want to do, so... As far as I'm concerned, this is the only series I'm going to do, but you know, I'll say that now and change my mind later. Who knows what I'll be doing once this renovation project is done. That's what's holding me back right now. Two or three episodes a week at the most, and that's driving me nuts. I want to do two or three a day. Because so, <laughs> I only get to play this when, uh, when I'm doing an episode. You are scavenging... So you picked that up on your own. Interesting. Huh, I didn't have to tell you to do it. That wasn't left over from last episode, was it? I don't know. Seems like I did set some orders. Right afterwards, I told... Well, you're on an expedition. I told somebody to go and load up all of these. That must have been Simon. Edmund's doing that. Kana. Oh, and five more. So what's a five? Well, there's a seven. And there's a five. Okay. So Umayar and Simon already have projects laid out for them. Rita is going to be getting to her destination any minute now. There she is. I see spaceship debris with particular protruding shapes. I think that it may be the crash site of a battleship. Ooh, those extra bumps look like cannons. Go there immediately. Ah, it's going to be a chain of events. And immediately, we're paused. Yeah. Searching the remains of the battleship was tricky. On closer inspection, they turned out to be very old and falling apart easily. Yeah, as always a catch. I couldn't find anything useful and was starting to lose hope when I stumbled upon a miraculously well-preserved turret. Ooh. I'm not an expert, but I made notes of the design and mechanisms. This could speed up research of our own mini-turrets. All right. So... 50% reduced research time for our automated turrets. Good job. Come on back. Okay. So that's actually in the research queue right now, right? Uh, research. It is not. <laughs> um, it's probably time to think seriously about that. Let's get those in. It, was, it must have been five days before. And that's why I didn't toss it into the list yet. But two and a half days, okay, we'll do that. 
carbon armor is being worked on eventually. So of those that I had already checked, let's get incendiary traps in. That's only 12 hours. Pacifier is only 12 hours. And the sensor, let's get him into. We'll go back to this guy later in case we accidentally uh, you know, get a boost on that one as well. All right, so you are making circuit boards. What is calling for anything right now? All of our electronics are pretty much done. We were going to start working on weapons after this. And it'd be nice to go out and find some weapons, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, when Rita gets back, I want her to see if she can do plant energy crystals. Can anybody else? Carter? Ooh, Carter can. Carter, what you doing? And you... Did Carter... Was he the next best for farming? He's a three. He was the next best. Okay, so you're eating, and you have nothing else queued up. Your relaxation is fine. As soon as you're done eating, you are going to plant energy crystals right now. Not that... Oops. Go back to eating. Where are you at? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You were you were so close to... Yeah. Um, draft, undraft. Will you pick up your food again? Maybe? F finishing previous meal. Good. Thank you. Okay, I won't screw it up this time. Hold down the shift and plant energy crystals. And... Let's... Scavenge scrap metal. All we get out of these things is scrap metal. Edmund, let's try something different. You're in good shape right now. Let's go back up the hill and just see if there's anything more we can get out of this interesting complex. Let's have you uh, scavenge these right now. Simon can... Simon's busy. He's in good shape, though. He can handle busy. You come over here and pick up the scrap instead when you're done with that. And we've got another Draka. You can you can't just say Draka. You gotta say Draka when you when you say that name. Um, just want to make sure there's no more around our traps. They, they were having a little trouble with that before. What just flew through me? There he is. Something just flew through me. Um, what was I talking about? Okay, so Carter, that's what I was talking about. There was an area here that wasn't a hundred percent. Can we reshape this field so that it is? Farming, you and you. We're good till, let's shear off these two rows. Or row one row there. So de-reduce that group. Okay, you go there. Now, unfortunately, well maybe I can. Extend, okay it does show me, okay. So extend you to there. And I think that's going to give me a separate field if I hold the shift down, right? No, it didn't. Okay. So, what else? Expand. Let's get back into here. Right? Now, there. That's not it. That's three. Energy crystals extend field. Oh, I landed wrong when I started that. That's what's wrong. Extend. Got to be there before I click. There we go. All right. Now we're going to get some serious energy crystals planted, and they're all going to be right in the 100% range. Average health, 100%. Why it's red, I don't know. Oh, he's doing going doing this fast, too. And you got it all lined up properly. All right. All right, before Rita gets back, he'll be half done. Which means we could send Rita back out. I know there were four or five new plants that came in with the sow and sell update. We see one of them. Silicone, that's the only new one there. Maybe they threw that one in just because it was shut down everybody. Everybody's old saves for not having the energy crystals around. I'm guessing new maps, you can discover these on your map. Okay. Um... We haven't seen this one yet, still just the two. And we did see that. Nothing new there. Okay, so we don't know any other new ones. But there are other new ones out there. So... Though I didn't expect Rita to come back with the Bone Crusher. I wonder if she can find animals from the other biomes. Hmm. wonder if she's going to discover things that 
have nothing to do with our map when she runs out of things that do. Clearing construction site. Because that was the original field and that was all you were programmed to handle. Alright, come on in and plant energy crystals. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, how are we doing here? All of our repairs are good. Alright, we're ready for the next whatever comes. Now, so much for the fence, huh? Carter is planting and Edmund is scavenging. But, boy, I would love to get a another weapon out of that. Oh, here comes a Rita. And can Rita go back out and bring back another weapon? That's what I'm curious about. So you brought back what? Oh, you just brought back materials. Okay. And you're transporting fuel. No, you're going to go get fuel. Because there's nothing else to plant, and so you went into deliver mode. Is that what's going on there? Might be. I don't know. But can you... 30. You're going to reload. You just you want to leave. Okay. I'm not going to argue. Well, I am. Actually, you need some, uh, some uh, taking care of first. So what to have you do? Why don't you come in and didgeridoo? And then why don't you grab some kind of a fruit something. Fruits flambe. Ooh. And then you can rest on the way. All right. Then we will send you back out again. And just take advantage of your, of your perk, your trait. Carter's got this pretty much handled. Then I think I will send him out out to get to work on a fence don't know that there's any wood sitting on the ground anywhere uh, trying to think of where we chopped last probably right in there so I think all of the other well, 60 wood somewhere oh from right here there it is so Carter when you're done you're still good come on up and haul well this I guess it's kind of scattered wood. Okay, so haul the wood away. And hopefully you'll drop it into fence lines. But still, you're then not going to do anything until you have worked on your your stairs because they were put in first. Huh? Probably. Kana, what you doing? You are handling a distillery. Why don't you instead grab a meal? Where have we got any kind of a veggie? Do we? They're not stored all in the fridge anymore. I probably need to fix that. Let's get the berries out of the fridge since the whole thing is a freezer now. We're 15 degrees. Let's kick the berries out. That will leave room for meals. So all the meals land back in one place again. So fruits, no fruits. And then everything else, I want to get rid of the meals. Is there an easy way to do that? Cooked meals? There, are there any meals that I don't? What's other? I need to leave that one. I don't want emergency meals in the fridge. So as long as that's available for it, over here I can say no meals. I guess that way. No meals. And no meals. They'll shift everything back into here. They'll shift the berries out of here. And I'll be able to go to one fridge and be able to find them again. Okay. You're all turned off. Yeah. So no cooked meals in you either. All right. Yeah. I think that's the way to do it. Right? Right. I'm questioning myself. Now, was there a veggie stew? There's not. There's no veggie soup. There's a fruit cake and a fruit flambe. And that is it for Kana. Okay, so Kana, can you, when you're done, find a fruit something? I'll zoom down in here. What are you? Kana. Why is nothing showing up when there's a meal there? store undesired I can't make her eat that what's in that stack so what is that 
Oh, because it's a meat thing and she doesn't qualify for it. That's why I won't even pop it up as an option. Okay. So, two. You're a fruit flambe. Okay. So, Kana, when you're done, come and eat that one. Okay. I got that right. I have Rita selected. Er, Kana. Handling and eating. No, I got her. I think I must have clicked on read at the same time. Okay. So I was getting to you do that and then. And what was the end then? I was going to have her go build something. Build the dartboard. That's what it was. Can you then go construct the dartboard? Okay. That was the thought, but it took this whole chain in order to get to the thought. <laughs> Usually I, I lose it at about 75% through that process. <laughs> Okay, so Rita needs to go back out again. Where is she at the moment? She is now getting something to eat. Scavenge 87. Oh, I tell you, these wrecks are driving me nuts. So no matter where we go, what kind of journey we take, we get scrap metal. And you're transporting 30 because there's a slot somewhere for a 30. Yeah. Edmund, how about you just... I'll tell you over here to scavenge, but you're going to stay here, aren't you? Yeah, it's all the same complex. All yellow. Okay, so you do one more round, and then I'm giving up up there. And we'll just stick to the one that's next to us. All right, so Rita, eight. I need to check up on you. You are eating. So you have rest. That's a lot of wind coming in, but that usually happens in the late afternoon. I always wonder if it's a thunderstorm, then it's not. So Rita is eating, and I want Rita now to go back to do what? Let's stick to small time frame. So we have a an eight hour, but that takes physical, and she doesn't have it. So she just needs to discover something, which is this one. It's six hours on. It's probably our last semi-short trip. So we'll we'll send Rita on that one and send and does she drop into that as soon as she's done eating on an expedition great so you're gonna go grab two of what these pies yep they're gone all right so paulette there you go perfect you got the cue to go make a new one and our trees are starting to leaf out good starting to grow these were planted later so only a few of them have gotten leaves though these have gotten shadows <laughs> they're, they're trying to yeah they're i guess they're making leaves okay so she's out of here and edmund is halfway through that carter is clearing a construction site okay so he got all that planted that's great i'll give up on the smoke leaf how are we doing on something like smoke leaf none but we couldn't get any more right now if we wanted to it's just a matter of whether or not we, it can get a couple days of growth in before next year mm, there is that carter are you still able to you it's too cold so there must be different temperatures or is it just that it's cooled off. Maybe that's it. Maybe I couldn't do this one right now, too, if I wanted to. Hmm. Could I... If I had turned this on, could he have... He can plant these. So there is a different temperature just for smoke leaf. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, turn you back off. So, Carter, you go do what you want to do. I see. You needed to... You need to get rid of something there to hmm well that stair is done and you're gonna go construct that little one up there then hopefully yeah I guess I could just tell you to you're still in decent shape after you're done with that do that do that 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 and that let's see how far you get yeah these are quick ones that's like putting in flooring for him he's what construction eight now something like that construction eight yeah he's got some skill so simon is transporting emptying these guys out 
That's what we need to do. It's time to get back to this and get it finished also. Simon's eating. Paulette is making bread. Good stuff. Umayar is researching, getting done with the... What was he was doing? The carbon armor. Then maybe through the winter we can have uh, Kana building us some, some armor. If we don't get the new setup done in time before our first real attack, at the very least we can be wearing something that it can't penetrate. <laughs> Expedition Discovery Cure Plant. Oh, here's one of the new plants. And that feels like desert biome to me. Hmm. This plant appears to have incredible healing properties. That's why I call it Cure Plant. So, it has it with antibiotics. Okay, it can be cultivated and we can harvest antibiotics f directly from the plant. Oh, definitely come in handy. I see. Okay, we got plenty of antibiotics. We, I don't know if we've actually used any. Antibiotics, you are there. 53. Maybe we've used one or two of this whole series. So that's that's interesting, but it's not uh, dire for us. Okay, Carter, you are still working. You are probably going to be hungry soon. 46. Well, tell you what, before you come in, just go ahead and do that one. Those and those. This corner will finally be done. We'll, we'll go with that. So, Edmund, where are you? You're transporting... Okay, you're not going to just tell me. You're going to show me a box. So, the box is first aid kits. Okay, 15 first aid kits. So, I need to send... Oh, yeah, I need to send Simon up there to get that, that scrap metal. The 87. So, I'll leave that notice until we deal with that. It's 20 hundred. It takes Simon way too long to get there and back tonight, so that'll be a tomorrow thing. Otherwise, what else is going on as far as what we need to be doing? Making weapons. What if we should concentrate? Well, the crowd doesn't mean anything unless we're fenced in. We can get this whole thing built, but if this isn't built, they'll just walk around it and kick our butts. So this doesn't help to jump ahead. It's a all-or-nothing deal. Um, though I'm sure we're just about due for a thunderstorm, aren't we? Are you eating? Carter, you're appreciating a shroom. So you're kind of done for the night. When you're done, you need to uh, eat some bread. You really liked bread. But by then, it'll be time to go to bed, won't it? Well, I'll stick this in there just in case. You still have an hour to go and bring some wood over there. Two or three taps and you'll have it done. So, yeah, we'll see. So there's the staircase. I don't know what I would rather walk up. All these steps or this loose gravel rocky terrain. I don't know. Hmm. Looks good, though. That was the goal. Otherwise, I remember last time I was looking at this thinking it needed to move a little bit. And then there was the one over somewhere else that needed to move, too. If I go to move, I can see these a little better. So if we brought this guy... Oh, I see. It's exploration complete, okay? We have to bring poles out in order to move it. But we need one here. If we put that one there, looks like we need two of them. So this guy does need to move out to something like this. And then we need to put another one right here to catch that whole area. So it's not just min-maxing. It is one more chance of getting a lightning strike caught so that it charges our battery. So there actually is a benefit to this, to this madness. What do we do about all of this? What can we move in? This guy can move in. If we're going to fill this all in, he can move over. Okay. So this moves over to cover this area. So probably like that. So he moves to there. Oh, I didn't see if that reached. Cancel. You. Move. Where's our... There. 
That's as far as we can go and not have to move the power pole. So I'll do that. And then we need another one out over here, which means we need another power pole. Yeah. Let's copy. So he's going to move to there. This circle doesn't exist anymore. So we need to be about like here. This guy's going to move over to fill in this void like that. So let's move him first. So you need to move to... Let's take care of Rita. Uh, see spaceship debris in particularly protruding shapes. I think crash side of a military ship. Extra bumps here look like cannons. I think you're kind of recycling your description there. But go there immediately. And what did you find? Uh, remains a military ship for useful things is a bit tricky. The whole thing is very corroded and falling apart easily. Still, I found one of the ship's many armories and pulled out a functioning high-tech weapon. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Bring us back a 2.0 railgun sniper, please. You need to move to fill in all of this area. That would do it nicely. And I don't have to move anything okay so specifically let's go there so you're moving to there and I can let this thing run anything else going on till I figure while I figure out this last one um, Evans bringing that back Carter is constructing a power pole it's 2300 Simon is transporting randomness that's fine Kana is assembling, almost done with her first, or her next electronics. What is in stock? Oh, she's done two electronics. Okay. His power cells were hurting on. Okay. Um, yeah, everything here is looking fine. We're good. So you need to make a copy. And... Well, these ceiling lamps are falling apart, aren't they? So you no longer exist... Yeah, that's going to be... Kana, I'm going to bug you. Come on out here and move. And then move. So I can see this a little better while you guys are all in bed. We finished carbon armor. Okay. Umayar is, what, going to sleep? We're getting something to eat. Okay. Edmund is we're still getting back in here. Kana's going to take care of those. Carter made his way all the way around. Maybe he had to go find wood. That's probably what it was. There's probably none on the porch because we're we never bring it to storage. We bring it directly out to to the fence line instead of the power pole we're supposed to be working on. I had you do two power poles. You dropped it off here instead. You're gonna do them separately, dude. Ah, okay. How far you gotta go? Right there. Right here. Is that enough, or are you gonna go collect the whole map? Yeah, just enough. Okay. So, I heard a thump. Kana has moved both. Alright. So, you... Copy. So, now we're looking pretty good. We're almost a little redundant over here. Is there one that could leave? This one could leave, couldn't it? If this went away... Yeah, everything else is covering it. That one's redundant. Okay, so you need to get into here. If I went there... That's pretty good. We're hitting everything but the... past the wedding chapel. I think we'll call that good. So you go there, and I need to bring power to you. How best? This line over. Now I'm going to have to take all the trees out to do it. Same thing if I bring this line over. Hmm. Too bad there isn't an underground version of it. Let's copy... 
to stay in line. Where are you? You are one away from the fence line. If we keep it in line, it looks like we only take out one tree. Okay, we'll do it. Right there. There. This is going to be fun. <clears throat> I can't see the wires. Now I can't see the path. I don't know if it's there or there. Okay, so it's two above the trunk. I can do that from here. But I still can't see the wires. <laughs> Alright, let's take the tree out first. Let's not do that twice. Might screw up the way the wires were out. Uh, take a tree down. Who best? Who needs a little more physical training? Edmund, you're at a six, right? And Carter's at a six. Carter's, yeah, a six, okay. Anybody almost at a seven? Um, there. Is there a way of knowing? I think that means it's 8,000 from there to there. Old equipment. So that's a warning. Something's about to break down. We're looking at... I don't know. Paulette? Yeah. So Paulette is about to lose what? I mean, you're pretty good shape, but we do need to get coats on everybody, don't we? That's right. It's getting cold again. Okay. So, Paulette, when you're done, come and grab a... Where's the word jacket? Coat. Oh, Paulette. That's what I want. Equip coat. You've got one, and you're good to 21. You've got one, you're good to 17. You got a good one. Um, good to 21, good to 26... Kana needs one, so when you get up, equip a jack a, a coat. And Umiar is good to 23, even though he has no shirt and a vest. Do we have any shirts yet? I thought we did. So when you are done with whatever, the word shirt is not in there. All right, are you in this one? No. Are you in this one? There's nothing in this one. Maybe others have swapped out shirts since. Could be, because I thought I had kind of working on that. Without power crystals, I guess there's no point in working too much more on on electronics. Hmm. Let's switch Kana back to sewing for a while. Right there, tailoring. All right, so you get caught up on shirts. Simon is transporting a hundred leather, bringing that in. That should go into here. And a lot more available. All right, read us here and just found a pistol. <laughs> oh, well, that will take the place of, I guess, Simon's just about worn out crossbow. Yeah, Simon, let's just skip the middleman. And when you're done with whatever you're doing, equip the laser pistol, and you will most likely haul the crossbow back. Okay. Then we could either save the crossbow, or we could break it down and take back the materials, which would be alloy. be good to have that. Um, in fact, are there other... There are old crossbows in here. Hmm. I see. Right-click... Tears them down. I'll leave one. And we still have a bow. Let's tear you down too. We'll take back the materials. So that's probably a, I don't know, a deliver or a, probably a handle task. Uh, moving lightning rod. Yeah. Move lightning rod. And take the tree down. So Edmund, you are fine. When you're done with that, take the tree down. Though it would be nice if Rita did, but she's apparently sleeping. Okay. Rita didn't rest at all on that trip. Interesting. So, yeah, go take care of that. Move lightning rod. You came to... There were two to move? I don't know. Oh, we went from there to there. I get it. Okay. 
So you extend to here and you extend to here. Okay. Old equipment. Still just... No, we got two people now. So Carter, old equipment. Shoes are about gone. Do we have shoes in stock? We might not. Oh, we do. But they're about gone too. Okay. And that's why we don't because two old pairs are sitting in there. Do we have boots? That's probably why they're sitting in here. So we shifted over to some good quality boots and we don't have any of those anymore. Okay, yep. Yeah, Kana will go through and wipe out a lot of the of the uh, problems there. Alright, you moved the lightning rod and you took down the tree. Okay, let's do this now that it's a lot easier. So, copy. Take you like so. And... Like so. All right. Now that that's done, wonder if I could put in trees. If I were to extend the big trees, would it let me? I guess I need to wait to see, wait for the power poles to be built. Then maybe it'll give me a, a warning. Otherwise, it might plant them and tear them right back out again or something odd. You're moving a lightning rod. I didn't know I had two of them still waiting to be done. I feel like something's a little confused here. You're getting... Re oh, this is the one that we're putting over here. I see. That's right. Okay. Alright, so... Plans for the day. No more heading up the hill to scavenge. That's for sure. Um, Carter... Is building something. He's going to get done with the rest of these stairs. Okay. Or at least the ones you are constructing stairs. Yep. I got to just let you get done or I will be fighting you the rest of the <laughs> rest of the season. You won't give up. And over here, a bunch of stuff to haul in. Um, yeah. Storage space for hay. These can probably get to about 400, but yeah, we're going to fill up all of these with other things. Too bad I can't combine. I mean, this would fit there just fine. Paulette is dismantling. She's sitting down to dismantle the crossbows. Interesting. Okay. And do we send Rita out one more time? Probably not. That didn't open up a place to go back to, did it? I mean, military ship to breed. I never got the sense that we could go back again. Cruise ships, space debris. We know of these. I think that's an old one. There's still... It can be searched for weapons indefinitely. Oh... Okay. Needing energy crystals to make weapons, this suddenly just became a lot more important. Okay. Let's go take a peek at Rita. I think I'm sending you right back out. Though, yeah, let's get some harvesting done. Okay. While we have this window to that and we're allowed to harvest, let's let's take it. Yeah. Still bugs me that these guys didn't align properly, but maybe Reedy will fix that in the in the spring. You're constructing a fence. So Connor never got back here. You're constructing a fence. Oh, there must be a piece of wood here. Carter, can you work on this? Is that here? Oh, there's someone actually put wood in storage? Or maybe that's been sitting down there. All right, so get that one built, and now we have a way to relax right after a battle without having to walk all the way up there to do it. And now you're constructing a fence, but not taking the wood. That's probably good. Leave the wood down here. Go find it somewhere else all the way over here. <laughs> um, so Rita, yeah, we want to send you back out. You're done here. 
you're going to transport all these in. I don't see any other um, harvesting that has suddenly appeared. So when you're done, if you were to get something to eat and get back in the air, let's do that. You got a fruit something around here? You would be here. Eat a fruits flambe. That'll give you real like no, it'll give you happiness and fullness. And then I can put you back in a in a ship and go out and find me a another weapon. So everybody now has an energy weapon of some kind. Good. It moved. There we go. So we've got two crossbows floating around. I think one just needs to be torn apart. And the short bow still needs to be torn apart. And we have one backup spear. Okay. And... Simon didn't get the order to do the backup spear because we've got him... Windy again. We've got him doing transporting. Uh, transporting. Simon. As soon as you're done... Hop up here and bring this home. Okay, so you're doing that. And wow. Do you think it's autumn? Look at the colors. That just kind of happened for me. I'm sure it's been there the whole time, but... First time it just dawned on me what I was looking at. There's almost no green left. So we got these... Uh, hmm. We got these just in time. Rita... Ah, uh, she's harvesting instead of getting ready to go off on that trip. What happened to that? Wait a minute, Rita, I thought I had told you to go get the fruits flambe. Was that not you? Hmm. I don't know. But we kind of need these, so I don't want to tell you not to go harvest them. But I want you back up in the air to go find another railgun sniper. Where are you at? How far away? You're clear up there. But you're running. Okay. Let's see if we can pull this off. Rita, sleepwise, you never went to bed. It had you triggered to go to bed. There were two Zs right here. I didn't actually go and look at you to see if you were in bed. I assumed that that meant you were in bed. Darn. So, you're not going to be willing to go on a trip, are you? It might make you sleep. I mean, there are trips where you have slept. It said is, is sleeping. I'll take the chance. Okay, Simon can haul these in. You get up here and get your fruit flambe right now. And then I want to get you in the air. Simon, you are all the way up there. And you're still doing fine. So when you get all the way back over here... Why don't you put these in the fridge for me? Hall. Okay. Carter is constructing more fence because he's done with his stairs and he's happy with the with his life right now. He feels complete. <laughs> now I can work on fences. <laughs> All right. Well, we're still making fuel. We've got 160 in store. I don't think we're storing anything inside the house anymore, right? Doesn't look like it. No. No, I didn't put any in here. Okay. So... I see we have a couple of stools waiting to be done as well. Edmund, why don't you go do that just so it doesn't bug me anymore. You are constructing and constructing. You construct those. And then I want you to construct these. And that'll kind of take up the last of all of our little odd projects. Research carbon armor. That's still sitting there. Okay. So, Kana is tailoring. Before I put carbon armor in, let's get the basics done. More shirts. What have you. So, shirts. Coats until. So, we must be lacking one. Uh, beanies? Tukes, let's wait till we hit winter. And then we'll get those on everybody. Um, beyond that, as you get further down, we've got leather. It may be time to pull the leather off of the list. Let's pull all of these 
off the list. Yeah, maybe between episodes I'll reload this with carbon armor, but let's see what that means. There we go. Carbon vest. So that's what Rita is wearing right now. Synthetic vest. Okay, so this is even better. So a carbon vest means what? Tops. It means 18 hours to make it. it takes 40 nanotubes. So we got plenty of those. And that's it. So it's just a matter of getting in there and doing it. Heat tolerance and cold tolerance of 40 and 50 degrees beyond normal. So an additional. So that's, that's some good numbers. All right, so Rita, one more time. Did I lose her? Did she, She's sleeping. <laughs> we did this with Edmund. There is no way that he is going to, or she is going to get on that, that ship. Yeah, I can set it up. So we're fueled. Invulnerable. I've never noticed that before. Set of hit points. Integrity 100. Apparently this is undamageable somehow. Uh, expeditions, you are going to military debris. Indefinitely search for weapons. Six hours. Rita and send. And I wonder if we just let your sleep get to a certain point. Eh, I better not bug you. You're going regardless. It's in your queue. Well, it will be. It, it doesn't show up until you're done with your activity. Um, you are insufficient storage space. You are beef berries. Okay. What are we lacking right now? Scrap metal. Okay. Not that scrap metal. So, we're lacking this stuff. Where else can we put some more of these under a roof? And where is convenient? We could set up a few more of these. Yeah, we could. They're, they're quick and easy. This takes so long to build this, this kind of construction. These are tap, 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 and they're done. Hmm. Where to? I mean, this front porch idea, put the roof back on, that, that worked out really well. All that stuff's under a roof. We still have a walkway. And same thing over here. So they don't have to be inside. They can be outside, but they're under at the eaves, which just gives a natural protection. I like that look. But we've run out. And that, since there's no way to combine, well... There kind of is. Yeah, let's do that. You, and i got to click four times to get to you. There we are. You are no longer going to take... Uh, crafting materials? Well, that's not what I'm looking for. I need to get rid of the construction materials for carbon nanotubes. Why did it say that? Is there more carbon nanotubes up there? There is. Ah. But that stuff doesn't wear out. There's... Let's see. Let's go this route. Yeah. There's no... Click on, on hay. You see 97%. There is no such bar for carbon nanotubes. They don't fall apart sitting outside. So the tubes that are sitting way up there by the the ant nests, or the, the bug nests. Where are they? I guess that's these guys. They're, they can sit out there all they want. So let's get Simon. Oh, he's just now going to get these. Ah, 2100. Let's move this one. This one. And that should free up space. Oh, scrap metal sitting in there. Turn you off. That's what's going on. That's why we suddenly have a lot more scrap metal. Okay. So you are four clicks capable of taking scrap metal. Okay. So in that case, transporting 120. Where are you going? 
But why can't you leave it here? I don't understand. That is ore? So we're sharing ore. So we can share? I guess there's four spaces in each one of those. I guess they could share. So what was the problem with the scrap metal? I don't get it. We can share, then there never was a storage problem. Go away. <laughs> Dude. Okay, Simon, yeah, I know, I bugged you. But you can still, before you go to bed, haul these in. Okay. Anyway. Rita's going to get up soon. Because she went to bed so early. And she'll take off on her trip. Everybody else accounted for? You are... It's pulling this way. You're making another... How are we doing on buttermelon squash? We've been making a lot of buttermelon pies. I kind of get the feeling we're getting low. There you are. 340. Everything is frozen, so there should be no more issues with rot. What we have, we should keep. And during the winter, we need to rebuild the rest of the freezer so that that is a thing then, too. Interesting. This has gone... Oh, as a whole, we're at 56%, not as an individual battery. Okay. I was wondering if this below 50% battery is going to turn this guy on. But that's not the case. Okay. Hmm. Anyway, just kind of mumbling to myself. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the way I roll. Carter is constructing fences. Edmund's drinking. Umiar is researching. You are researching automated turrets. All right, so what is our plan back over here? We're going to fill this full of traps. Not going to do it now, though. I'm going to painstakingly tell them. <laughs> to move every one of these stinking things up there. I really didn't want to build that many traps. I wanted to do those at the end, not at the beginning. Because I'm pretty sure they all have to be moved individually, one at a time. Is it worth it? Do I deconstruct those and get a little bit back and just build these fresh? It might be smart. I don't know. Anyway... Elevated in here, elevated in here. With turrets and flamethrowers. That's a roll of thunder. Did we get... Are we live? We've got power poles. We've got power poles. We've got our whole system here. Wish I could zoom out further, but... Yeah, I think we're good. Except for up in here when Rita is planting, but otherwise those are probably... In fact, I can say don't harvest, can't I? That's right. So I can go through here and check that on all these so they just stay there. And just keep... keep. I don't know, they may die off and replant themselves, I'm not sure. You need to be harvested. Hmm. Anyway, concrete... That's right, the new update changed the formula for concrete. It's no longer 10 stone to 10 concrete. Made it 5. Um, furnace. What am I doing here? Oh, so we're mirroring. This is the only one I can change. Bake. Concrete is now 5 stone to 10 cement. Okay. So I wanted concrete... Uh, actually, I think I can put those in. We have a new farming. Oh, we have a new... Yeah, cure plant. Um, housing. Flooring? I think that's the way I want to do it. No, not flooring. Housing. Floor. And concrete. Something they can't break. And that will be kind of like here. Or is it up here? It might be like that. Got to think about that, because they can just throw up a ladder and climb up. Um, X, yeah, high enough that it shoots over the top, high enough that no one can reach over and destroy. But now I'm thinking it does need to be back 
Hmm. I gotta think about that. Up close, they could possibly reach over and damage it, or they can damage the concrete itself that the the turrets are sitting on. I want turrets lined up in here shooting into these pathways. So maybe this needs to... Oh, I see. I made it three wide so I can have it down the center. But these are not one wide. They're one and a half, aren't they? Uh, housing, floor, anything. But we'll, we'll do concrete. It is one. But the fences are in the center. That's what's up. Okay, in between episodes, I'm going to widen all of this. So if I were to put traps in here, defense, traps, yeah, I wanted three wide. And I've only got two wide, so I'm going to have to redo this whole thing, expand it out a little and lengthen it a little, so I can get three spaces and three spaces and threes all through here. Okay, well that, that's a game changer. So now I have something to do between episodes. I won't bore you with tearing it all out and redoing it. So in between episodes, I'm going to redo this. I'm going to set all of this to not harvest. And Rita's going to take off. And I'm thinking we probably have a bug attack next time. It's been two episodes since. Something like that. We started two episodes ago with a bug attack. So toward the end of next one, we probably have one coming in. Otherwise, they just went into a complete boring mode, and so that's my cue to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.